folks, it's episode 10 of That Marketing Show. Very excited to be already at episode 10. Just starting this um, literally just a few weeks ago, already up to episode 10. Uh, it really uh, resides in the passion I have for marketing and online marketing and social strategy and all the things that relate to digital media. Uh, again, this is brought to you by The Coffee Group. And I want to talk today about tools. Tools. Scissors, nail, saw, hammer, screwdriver, paint, jackhammer, mortar. Trying to explain social media to a contractor. This is how you have to do it. Well, not only social media, but let's just talk about digital marketing in general. If you think about marketing, it's storytelling. And I, I know that I bring this point up as much as I can throughout all of these um, marketing videos, but really today, media is not necessarily thinking about print as much as um, you would consider anymore. Television, radio, all these things are great, but the majority of things that are happening from a technology standpoint and where the world is going, unless you're absolutely blind, it's 2013, uh, everything is moving into the digital space. Um, I have a 55-inch Google television at my house. We spend 50% on the television, 50% on YouTube and Vimeo and, uh, and all these other program programming cadences. So I can even see my household, the, the Google TV, which is, uh, if you've got one of these, you'll understand, is that the internet is pushing really fast. I mean, at light speed into the television set, where programming itself is going to radically change over the next five years. Um, in five years from now, the amount of broadcast television that you'll be watching is going to be significantly less. But that really is a great boon for small business and mid-sized businesses because you can have your message out there on not only you know from people searching on a computer, but people searching on tablets, televisions, mobile devices, all this stuff. When people are searching and connecting socially, uh, there's a big opportunity here. And I, I hope that this put some light into trying to understand, from a layman's standpoint, uh, some of the tools that we use in digital marketing. Scissors is Twitter. Nail is Facebook. Saw is your blog. Hammer is LinkedIn. Screwdriver is Google Plus. Paint is Pinterest. And I'm going to get to these two, jackhammer and mortar, in a second. But I wanted to cover just a social piece because I think trying to explain how this works. So if you look at a blog, it's sort of like a saw because it saws through everything. If you could write 500 to 1,000 words about your business and, and a story about your business, even if you bring up a video that surrounds how you built something or how you put something together, it really cuts through most of the stuff. So we do a lot of video blogging, and we do a lot of um, follow-up blogging. This is, this is probably the most common tool um, that creates the, um, from a social standpoint, or, or at least from a media standpoint, that really creates a, a lot of activity. Because this is sort of your center point on, on a lot of the, the dialogue. Now if you look at Twitter, it's kind of like cutting up your your messaging. So you only get 140 characters, so you've got to cut it up. And so if you think about Twitter as sort of the scissors and cutting through and cutting pieces of your story up. Facebook is a nail. Okay, because you can just pin up stuff in Facebook and nail it to Facebook. And it, it gets read and you can share it with friends, but it's nailed up there and it's there for, you know, it's there for eternity. You can go back and find it, you know, three months later, you can go back or six months or a year later, it's still there, right? Um, and, and, and people, you know, they, they see it when you nail it up there, that they'll look at it for a while and, and if you have good content or good value or something that you're trying to promote um, or a story you're trying to talk about, especially if you have a Facebook fan page, um, that's really where a nail kind of comes into the terminology. Uh, LinkedIn. I like to call it hammer. I called it a hammer a long time ago. There are so many groups within LinkedIn that you can hammer with your value, with your content. If, you, if you're a uh, a plumbing guy and you want to go down and look at all the verticals that support plumbing and all the suppliers and parts and all this. You could literally go into uh, LinkedIn, find groups, 
find area of uh, your business, uh, chambers of commerce. There's so many groups that you can just hammer and talk about yourself. But not necessarily sell yourself, but the value of your story, the value of what you do. And I, I try and bring up layman uh, terms here, but again, it doesn't matter if it's software or if it's um, a, you know, a service that you provide. What we're really trying to do here is to show small and mid-sized businesses there's a way to use these tools that if you think about it from a, a physical standpoint, you'll, you'll get the idea. Screwdriver. So the reason why Google Plus is a screwdriver, <laughs> screwdriver, excuse me, um, it's, it's screwing with all the socials. I, I, I think that's really what I wanted to get out of this, which is um, Google Plus is interrupting everything. Um, it, it's coming across as sort of a blend of Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn all at the same time. So you've got these like groups of combinations of either your, your circles, which might be friends, or it could be business colleagues, or it could be another circle. Uh, but it's really be becoming sort of like a, a, a private group, however you can be public groups, but it's allowing you to kind of to screw in into certain areas within your spheres of influence. So that's why I call it a screwdriver. Uh, Pinterest is paint, okay? So um, Pinterest is very visually oriented. So if you have a job that you've done and you want to put it up on Pinterest into a group or um, you want to pin it to a, um, a certain area within Pinterest where it makes sense, where you know you started the dialogue where you do, let's just say, great headboards. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you create these beautiful wooden headboards and your woodworking company. You know, all these things can be put up as pictures and uh, into um, Pinterest. So these are sort of the commonalities. Um, there are other, um, there are a tremendous amount of other social networks, but these are really the ones that are, are today in vogue and really make a lot of sense. I mean, a lot of people spend hours and hours of their day doing this stuff. And I, I, I put the blog in here, although it's not really a social network to say, it is sort of part of the infrastructure because you, you want to tie back to your content, uh, whether it's a video or if it's a um, uh, a regular, you know, written blog. Now, <laughs> jackhammer is pay-per-click. Now, I think that's a pretty ap apropos uh, term for, for, really, it jackhammers your message. If you want to be the first guy up on the top of Google for what service or product you want, and you're willing to pay for it, you can jackhammer your way right into the um, listings. And, but this is, obviously, this is cash, right? This is big money. This is just labor, right? This doesn't cost anything. Uh, this, this is the, the money. This is where Google makes billions and billions of dollars. And, and you can jackhammer your way into uh, you know, getting into people's view, whether you, you want to do it in, uh, you know, in, in Google search or in all the rest of the you know, search. You can do it in YouTube and Yahoo and Bing. I mean, again, pay-per-click is pay-per-click. Um, now, Mortar is SEO. Okay, so it kind of glues a lot of these whole pieces together. Um, it allows search engine optimization from what we do a lot of the time with our clients is we're kind of gluing together their story and then um, highlighting it as best we can by the SEO tactics that we use and uh, the, the ability to raise someone's authority. Now, what I want to come back, and this is the last point I want to make with this tool stuff, is yeah, these are the tools and, and here's kind of like the, the physical attribute. But what this really needs to also do is show authenticity, okay? So authenticity and, and really transparency so that when someone does um, uh, get involved with finding you online, whether it's through the socials or through a jackhammer, pay-per-click, but really coming back to a website that has authenticity. And uh, we're going to talk about authenticity and transparency in the next episode. Again, Matt Coffey with The Marketing Show, and we'll see you next episode. Thank you.